members of the Senioren Union, a branch of the conservative CDU party, visit the Reichstag in Berlin. They weren't put off by the rainy weather or the day-long trip from their hometown of Kleve in western Germany. They're here to make sure their views are taken into account in September's election. I'd be happy if pensioners got into power. It's not wrong to have more power. It's a good thing for the elderly to have more power. They're the ones who used to be in charge. I'd also say it's very important for pensioners to organize themselves a bit and have a platform representing their views. They shouldn't let themselves be pushed around. Pensioners never had it so good. An entire industry caters to their needs. They pack conference halls, like this one, hosting the Senior Citizens Congress in Leipzig. And Germany's more than 20 million pensioners tend to get out to vote more regularly than anyone else. For politicians, it's become increasingly important to court the elderly. So the Senior Citizens Congress is an essential stop on the campaign trail for Social Democratic leader Franz Müntefering and Chancellor Angela Merkel from the CDU is also on hand. Her coalition with the SPD has just promised the biggest increase in pensions in years and even pension guarantees. Many of you have participated in this Federal Republic of Germany for a long time and were active participants. You not just participated but also shaped the country. The fact that we slightly younger people can view this country with pride is first and foremost due to you. For that I thank you very much indeed. Germany's two largest political parties are especially well received by the elderly. In contrast, parties that cater only to the interests of pensioners don't have a chance in Germany. The members of the Kleve Senioren Union are at their next appointment, a meeting with a Bundestag member from their own hometown and an influential man. Ronald Pofala is the CDU's general secretary. He's also well aware that the election can't be won without votes from pensioners. On July 1st, we had the biggest increase in state pensions in years. And we've guaranteed that pensions won't be cut in the future. Those are two good examples of how we respect the interests of pensioners, I believe, very effectively and appropriately. The Social Democrats say their policies are good for those who want to live to a ripe old age and those who already have. Pensioners also have families, children and grandchildren, and they know the importance of things like good job prospects and secure employment with fair pay and equal educational opportunities for their grandchildren. They know from their own experience and from their own families what disastrous effects tuition fees have. Those issues play a large role in our overall campaign strategy and, of course, also for our older fellow citizens. None of the conservative pensioners from Kleve want a division between young and old either. While visiting the Berlin Wall, there's no talk of a generational conflict. And they're skeptical of politicians' promises. I cut all the promises made in the run-up to the election from my newspaper and hung them up in the bathroom. And I'll be able to compare them to what I really see and hear. On the other hand, I'm afraid our young people won't have any opportunities because many of them are unemployed or don't earn enough. I don't know whether the contract between the generations can be kept the way it is right now. But that's in the distant future. And by then, the Federal Republic of Germany will be even older and maybe even wiser.